Well, hello everybody. Uh, Phil here from Desperado 2. We are still in Miami over here at Marine Stadium where they are still getting ready and building for the boat show. The Miami boat show is going to be here. And all those big temporary buildings going up and there's rows of them behind it. Uh, also some docks going in. So today, since we're crossing the Bahamas tomorrow, doing some PM work. So um, did an oil change today, filters, uh, fuel filters as well. And I thought I would go in here because um, this is sort of one of those areas that's really hard to get at because Roy can uh, attest to this. Um, we have to remove the helm seat to open up this hatch and there's so much going on in here that you need access to. So my thought was go over everything, make sure all the bolts are tight. So well, this is our new Garmin Autopilot that we installed last week. I say we, well I guess it was just me. So it's a... Um, it's a CNC 40. It's very, very difficult to find space in here. And there's very little room and to, to get that autopilot in. Uh, I ended up having to put these stops in because you don't want the end of the piston uh, to, be, uh, to be your stop. You want to have a mechanical stop. So I ended up putting those stops in, just made them out of starboard. And then I also put um, a hydraulic hose clamp there just to give me that little bit extra. So far it seems to be working. Uh, well, this is a NEMA 2000 system. It also has uh, NEMA 0183 wires, which unfortunately they come in the cable so you can't even remove them. And it all connects to a backbone. So you've got your kind of your controller. And then over here, uh, this is where we used to have this old unit sitting in here. And I mean, the old unit's still down there. It's Alpha Marine 3000. Look at that bad boy. And I don't want to say too many bad things about it, but it's a pretty primitive system. I don't know why I'm keeping it. I, I hope to run into a sailor one day that needs one, and I can give it to him. So I just, once again, used a piece of starboard, cut a hole here, and then there's the... Uh, control head. There's also a flux gate compass downstairs and it all ties into the backbone. If anybody's really interested in how the whole install went, I did make some other videos. Um, it's kind of boring, uh, but I would be more than happy to answer any questions if somebody uh, wants to know how we did it. I was fortunate enough to um, have uh, Force and Force Racing here weld this bracket up in Canada and my daughter uh, actually put it in her luggage and brought it down. So that is how I'm basing everything and it's to the uh, It's not really a bulkhead, but it's the this is where your backstay mounts. So it's a solid piece to mount to it's not perfect um, I wish the angles I wish I could have got the angles exact, but there was just no way uh, short of having to literally cut out uh, the deck uh, cut out the uh, base of the cockpit anyway this is phil from miami stadium uh heading to bahamas tomorrow just working on some preventative maintenance work wishing everybody a happy new year and uh all the best we are looking forward to the trip i think uh, michelle's just gone out to do some more provisioning sarah flies home tonight the direct flight from miami to toronto and we will be hopefully on the islands tomorrow mom so let's hope that goes well um i'll do a song later i got a song that i want to do for everybody for new year um if, once i get this work done today i'll try to get that done all right folks take care bye bye